guys ready? Right behind me is WPI's Atlas robot, Warner. Uh, it's a robot uh, provided to WPI by the DARPA Robotics Challenge. It is designed to be a humanitarian aid and disaster response robot. Now our effort is to advance the technology and uh, basically to learn more about uh, these kinds of robots and um, program them, make them ready so that they can go into places that are too dangerous for human beings, such as Japan's Fukushima uh, nuclear power plant disaster. The idea is instead of sending people into these dangerous areas, they would send robots. Um, and with the disaster of Fukushima, they actually tried sending in robots. And everything, the, the most capable robots that we had at the time, just couldn't cut it. They, wouldn't, um, they weren't up to the challenge. So uh, DARPA, which is the Advanced Research Division of the government, decided to basically put this challenge out there to all roboticists and say, um, let's see what you can do. Um, we're going to give you a simulated disaster area and, um, and give us your best. And the reason we, we use humanoid robots is because the world is designed for humans. So it's, it's very easy to uh, have something that's unknown and, and allow a robot to go in there and, um, and adapt to that environment. So a ladder is designed for humans, so a human robot kind of makes sense to climb up and up it. I think this is probably uh, on the cutting edge of robotics, really. Um, it depends, there's different fields, so there's underwater robotics, there's aerial robotics, but uh, really you don't see humanoid robotics very much yet. They're still a little unstable, they're, they're not fast by any means. Um, you don't really want to work with them in your everyday life, they're still big machines. Um, so we're trying to make that a little bit, push that a little bit more so you'll start to see them in everyday life. Not that we're, uh, we're anywhere close to that just yet, but we're getting there step by step.